How did your narcissistic parent, specifically your mother, make a living? What did they teach you about your ability, your capabilities to provide for yourself, to show up for yourself? My mother is a sociopath and a narcissist, and I'm going to talk about how she made a living and what I learned from that and how damaging it was to my adult life for a very long time. My mother's top ways to make a living, marry money. That was number one. She used men for money. She was very parasitic. Way number two, cons, scams. She was arrested in 2014 for uh, selling fake handbags and sued for over half a million dollars by a huge fashion house and they won. So there's that. Um, she turned back odometers on cars. She did uh, coupon scams. All sorts of stuff. And by the way, when she was doing the coupon scams, she employed me and she taught me how to steal newspapers by putting in a quarter or however much it cost into the machine and you open it and you take out all the papers. I feel horrible for the people who were actually making a living from that. Like what a terrible thing to do and an awful thing to teach your 12 year old child how to steal. And it was like no big deal. Um, how else did she make money? Oh, sometimes she had jobs. So she would work for a friend who had like a jewelry business or a fashion business and she would really do it for the discounts and to say she was working, she never did it for very long and it was very sporadic. It was like here and there as a favor to keep those friendships that never lasted. That's the other thing. People like my mother do not keep friendships. They might know people for 40 years, but they weren't friends with them for 40 years. So that's another little side note I'd love to see some commentary or dialogue on. Because one of the reasons that I like to make these videos is to show people that there is indeed a pattern of behavior and abuse so that we know we're not alone and also that we weren't the crazy ones. So what did I learn from what my mother taught me um, regarding my capabilities or that I could show up for myself and things like that. I learned partly because of the wound that she created and my need to be taken care of and loved because I never had that and partly because of what she showed me that I needed somebody else to take care of me and provide for me. And so when I would start to make a living and do well, I would create my own chaos, self-sabotage and screw myself up every way you could possibly imagine financially so that maybe somebody would come along and rescue me. And I live like that in that high anxiety, self-sabotage state for many, many, many years until I finally figured out that I am worthy enough to show up for myself and I am more than capable of doing so. So that was my biggest lesson was learning to stop looking for my rescuer and become my own rescuer. And as far as the scams go and things like that, I learned that that just makes you a horrible person, which, you know, lines up with who my mother is. How about you?